<laughs> wow, what a great introduction. <laughs> Fuck you. I've drunk way more than you have. I am not pissed. I am not pissed. I've had one glass. I am fine. Cut into the Morgan Freeman voice. He was pissed. <laughs> no, seriously, I am just very jovial with the minute. Yeah. Which, which is a rarity for me. Anyway, hello. Welcome back to Pokemon Roy Beat the Adventure Part whatever this is. Yeah. Nine, ten, one of them. Uh, nine. Is nine, nine, nine. Beat me to it. Now, which is also the emergency services in in the U of the K. <laughs> <laughs> there is an upcoming battle with Brendan. I am not looking forward to because it can be quite a difficult one. Getting really hyped up about this Brendan character, I've never even seen them. He's our rival from the beginning. You know, oh! For fuck's sake. I thought Brendan was a different character. <laughs> like, there, there is the possibility of having, like, the character that you are a rival with having the same name as some other character. I mean, yes, there is. But also, no. I still can't get over the fact that we were called a simp about an episode or two ago. <laughs> by Team Magma. Maxi, yeah, he called us there. Uh... But actually, he wasn't calling us that. He was calling his teammates that because they couldn't beat us in battle. Oh, right. Yeah. So he wasn't calling us that. He wasn't calling us. Still, I, I didn't expect to see that word anyway. No, no, he didn't. Know. Oh, oh, okay. It's youngster Timmy and his poochie Anna. Timmy wasn't an average kid. Oh god, he got some Pokemon. <laughs> Pressure from his parents make him go explore the world. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't think of any of the rest of like, the lyrics that would fit, so I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah. I'm just thinking of a Death Note version. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm light. Definitely godparents. Yeah. Which is brilliant. It is wonderfully edited, that. Also, have you ever noticed that um, Rem basically is just like an exposition dump? Like, every time she's on screen, she's just explaining the plot. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's all she does. Yeah. She just explains what's going on. She is the... Which is kind of good sometimes, because like, it can get a bit confusing at times. She's basically what they used Beverly Crusher for in Star Trek The Next <laughs> Generation. It's just medical exposition, dump, alright, see you yeah. later, bye. And then the occasional, like, I sent you feel anger, and it's like, No, yeah. that's Counselor Troy. Is it? Okay. I obviously don't know enough about uh, Star Trek. Well, at least in Next Generation. I am a big Star Trek nerd, so... That is probably um, for the best that you yeah. Well, like, you, you've got, like, knowledge that I don't, and I have knowledge that you don't. Like, it just depends on what we're uh, what it's, we're on about, really. This is true. Excuse me, and then in the mid, And then in the middle is just the, the one brain cell part, where like, we just yeah. don't know what we're on about. Pretty much, yeah. Like, this motherfucker's just a lily pad. He's a dog. He's a green. Look dog. at that flat head. Those are his ears that are folded back. Are they? Yes. You're telling me that doesn't look like a lily pad. It does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Although there is actually one that has a lily pad on its head, right? Low tads, yes. We, yeah. We fought one like way back in like episode two or three or something. Yeah. Although there's there's a pretty much most of the things have been covered by Pokemon anyway. Like in terms yeah. of design. Although, you know, it's just sort of... There'll never be, like, an end to it, really, I don't think. Because it's like, you can always create a different looking thing. Because, like, even in the real world, there's uh, plenty of stuff that looks similar to other things, but they're not. So... Well, people like to shit on Gen 5 for having its, quote, unoriginal Pokemon designs, but a lot Meanwhile, of... Meanwhile, Gen 1, a rock with arms. Yeah, <laughs> like... <laughs> Gar Garbodor is infinitely more creative than Muck of a Blob, you know, it's just... Yeah. Or, hey look... Ooh, Ekans, it's snake backwards. 
Voltorb and Electrode is literally a Pokeball and one that's been turned upside down. Yeah. It's, like, sure, yeah, okay, there's the ice cream Pokemon. I don't like that one, but... Yeah. It's like, most of Gen 5 is fine, honestly. It's like you, you walk out of the thing and, like, what do you see? A fucking pigeon. <laughs> like... <laughs> And funnily enough, in Japanese, uh, Pidgeotto is just called Pigeon. Really? Yeah, it's, it's just it's just Pigeon. Just kind of like how uh, Santa is just sand. Like, well, I never knew that. Yeah. I think Abra is Casey. Is he, is he friends with the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, like, uh, I don't think they have the same well, like, got, abracadabra got... because I'm, like, no, type pun and that. But, well, I mean, there are turtle Pokemon. Like, you know, you've, yeah. you've got the Squirtle Squad. Could you imagine? It just... all fits. <laughs> this is the extended universe. Obviously. Where Steve exists. <laughs> Steve the... What, what, what Pokemon is that? Aaron. Yeah. Steve Aaron, the Pokemon. <laughs> Their name is now Steve. Why didn't we call our Marsh Dump anything? Because I'm not going to keep it. All right. I'm, I'm only going to give. I'm only giving nicknames to stuff I know. So I th this is foreshadowing, then. Yeah, I'm only giving nicknames to stuff I definitely want yeah. to keep, and I haven't gotten to the point where I can get the one I want to replace Marsh Dump with yet. So. Yeah, it's like that whole like lifestyle thing. It's like if if you hold it in your hands and it doesn't give you joy, you throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing here. I'm I'm keeping it around for now because like he's helpful, but I want to replace. Yeah. Him what what you metal claw with what? Mm, get rid of get rid of Harden. Is Harden not useful? It raises your defense by one stage, but oh, right. that's about it. Yeah. Do you reckon you'd ever do a Nuzlocke? Uh, probably not. Maybe. I guess it would really depend on how well you know a certain Pokemon game. Cause like, um, I would probably do if I did a Nuzlocke. The what? The game I know the best. Oh, is, there he is. That's Brendan. The game I know the best is probably um, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Yeah. So if which I was... we can do on um, when the new one comes out. Yeah, but I'm not going to do a Nuzlocke in that. I know, but I'm just saying that like. Uh... Like, we will play that one at some point, probably. I mean, like I said to you, well, even, if, even if I have a copy, I can plug it into your Switch and have it as a new game on Apple. Yeah. So, definitely can do that. But, like, we won't just abandon this one. No, I mean, this might be... We might finish this by the time that comes out. Like... Maybe. Because what we're in, like, we've done two gyms so far, and how, ma how many more months is it in this... What? Sort of thing until like the next, until that like, comes out. Until what comes out? Until the remakes come out. The Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. Uh, they come out in November. Yeah. So we we have a few moments. Ah, the Grob Island where this gets scary. <laughs> wow, what a dynamic pose! He looks like a raptor. He's a lizard. But yeah, the Grob Island where this is scary because um. He can take out um, Marsh Dump in one hit because mm. he's four times uh, super effective against him. Well, just don't use Marsh Dump. I'm pl not planning to. <laughs> Poison Sting is super effective because he's a grass type. Yeah. I'm actually going to heal. What, what's the evolutionary chain of. Um, no. Of which one? With. Um, Grovile. Uh, Trico, Grovile, Sceptile. Oh, so it's one, yeah, because it's one of the stars, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, because uh, he picks the one that's... Uh, Stronger against yours, yes. Yeah. I don't know why he's using Pursuit over and over again. Because uh, I'm not... Maybe it's good luck for us. I guess he doesn't have anything else Ooh. more effective to hit us with. Yeah. I really need to make sure not to get any alcohol on this cut on my finger. Because well, that would hurt. It would hurt, but it would also clean it. Yeah, but it would still hurt. Yes, it would. 
<laughs> Could you just imagine that, like one of the episodes, I'm just like pouring out, I'm just like, ah, my eyes, <laughs> my leg, my leben. The bees are in my eyes. <laughs> I, I recently listened to like, uh, cause I, I've, I've been on a sort of thing of like, like when I watch uh, like SpongeBob clips, sometimes I get like the Japanese version because like I'm also sort of uh, learning Japanese sort of stuff. I never would have guessed. And and like the um, like the, you know the grease up them fryers sort of scene. Yes. For some reason, the Japanese version is like the most intelligible old man voice ever, and he's like, <laughs> and it's like, what the hell are you saying? Really? Yeah. I, I don't know what like you know how sometimes you listen to like a dub. Uh, like version of it, you know, you listen to like the this in so many different languages, and then like yes. they have like the worst microphone and like the worst performance, and like you can barely tell what they're saying. Like that was basically what that was. I think they maybe because it's like a earlier SpongeBob episode, like maybe it was that they didn't care as much when they were translating that sort of thing. Cause uh, like, yeah, that's fair. Because like earlier stuff, they <gasps> really didn't again. care too much when they were <laughs> doing that sort of thing. Like, Speed Racer is a pretty good example of... Uh, go Speed Racer, go yeah. Speed Racer. He's going over go that cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oops. Don't mind me. <laughs> Have you seen the... Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like something along the lines of um, a sound that real humans make, and uh, it's a, a bit from Speed Racer where it's like, no, uh, I haven't. Uh, put my uh, vehicle onto this truck or whatever, like that, and then uh, like there's these two like cronies or whatever, like that, and they're just like, oh! <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. No, I still can't see this as anything but a lily pad. Oh, opening the, the Pringles. Hashtag not sponsored not by Pringles. Spons. Hashtag never sponsored. Pringles are shit. I said hashtag. I was meant to say hashtag. Those are also hot ones as well. I'm not very good with like spicy food. No, I'm not trying it. <laughs> you wanted them earlier. I didn't want them earlier. I just said I might try them. Try one now. Not while I'm recording. It might fuck my voice up. <laughs> Hey, what? My valuable voice, which people definitely don't hate. <laughs> There's a little bit of kick there. Yeah. But it's tolerable. <laughs> Just suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the hot ones. Does it uh, say how hot they are? What, like Scoville units? That's what, yeah, the Sc or Scoville units? The Scofield rating. <laughs> Uh, no, that's how condescending it can be to a child. Um, hang on, I I'll check it while you're doing that. Uh, sure. This is why it's helpful being around someone else's place for the first time in months. Because, um... Just a second pair of hands. Yeah. Although, uh, it doesn't double the knowledge. <laughs> no. As we <laughs> stated previously, one brain cell between us. Yeah, exactly. Um... I don't think it says. It's very weirdly laid out. This. I don't think it has a... It just has three things. It just says extra hot, so that's all it, all it says. Well, okay. Fair enough. Is it extra hot? Not really. I'll give it this one try. Uh... Yeah, I'm, still, I'm still looking to see if it has anything. I know. It's not that hot. No, it doesn't It doesn't have any... See, like, there's anything. your fucking lily pad. Oh! That is very strange looking. You're very strange looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing it. You lost it a long time ago. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did you lose it, Cotton I go? <laughs> That's about STDs. STDs nuts! <laughs> Fuck me. Maybe later. Okay, it's actually not that. It's like KFC spicy. Yeah, totally, it's not that bad. I don't know. 
I don't know why that's such a perfect analogy, but you know what I mean, right? I do, I do. It like literally almost tastes like KFC. <laughs> How is that possible? Magic. <laughs> yeah, I think it's mainly because um, oh, it's a complete uh, dismissal. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I, like it's just it's just a given at this point. Whenever magic is uh, mentioned, it's always Mr. Bean. Yeah. Mr. Bean's Mean Bean Machine. <gasps> That's brilliant! <laughs> Where he just flips everyone off from a car. <laughs> no one can see that. I know, but... I'm just going to have to put the, the clip in. I know. Like, I'm, I'm going to look back at the recording of this and be like, why did I let myself get drunk? <laughs> For God's sake. Okay, I actually do feel dizzy, though. I have something to eat. Get a I had one Pringle. Get a single Pringle. Uh, uh, He's ready know. to mingle. Get a sandwich. Get a go get a sandwich or something. Get, get a, I don't have a sandwich. You gonna make one? There's some bread in the kitchen. What am I supposed to do with these? What am I supposed to do with all these? Nuzleaf. I believe all this is happening for a reason. If you get that joke. Thing, you get 20 bonus points. Comment in the comments below if you get ooh, that joke. Ooh, that was a crit. And if you lie, then we'll come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Well, what was it, sorry? I said, because it's a nuzleaf. I believe all this is happening for a reason. I don't think I do know what that is. I'll explain it off camera to you. I'll explain later. I'll explain later. I don't know if I'm too quiet, but... Uh, I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Just I'll just have to boost the audio. Bat thing, Flynn. Bite. Lovely jubbly. What is... Is that his teeth? Yes. That is weird. You're weird. Why are you being so hostile so suddenly? Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's still it's trying to recover from the room. What are you doing? <laughs> it's your lily pad dog. Oh, we're 17 minutes in. Uh, are we? Oh, shit. Sure. Apparently. Lovely. I didn't even realise. I like how you haven't had any more of the wine and I'm just still going ahead with the... I had oh, one no. glass. I know. Because I'm taking a bottle home, I'm going to have the rest of it then. <laughs> well, someone has to be sober. Uh, you're not exactly drunk, though. I suppose not. Well, I, I mean, I am, but, like, I can sort of be sensible, you know? Purple hair. Because it's one of those sort of things where you have, like, oh, it's a link from A Link to the Past. Oh, you thought you fuck called it. Oh my, what the fuck is that face? What the fuck? You saw that, right? Mm hmm. Like, they had, like, sonic eyes. Yeah. I can't tell if this is because I'm drunk or if that's just the game. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's Casey. That's a callback, too. Well done. I need to look at what the other ones are called. Um, Kadabra Pokemon. I don't know if there is like a thing behind it, but uh, I do know that Casey is the first one. Are you sure? I learned this from VTubers. <laughs> uh, it's Jungera. I don't know what that means. Uh, and then Alakazam. <coughs> Alakazam. Shazam! Are you just pouring water? Yes. That's probably a good idea. Water break. Everyone get hydrated. Comment in the comment section below if you're hydrated. Give oh, it. Alakazam is food in. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you're a weeb. I'm not the weeb. I just know a bit of Japanese. Yeah, I'm pouring myself... 
fresh water. Do you want some? What did you buy? Where did you get this water from? <laughs> it was next to the GameCube. Was it? <laughs> it's right now, it's entire time. What the fuck? <laughs> Where did you get this bottle? <laughs> like, has this been here since you arrived? Yes. What the fuck? It's been on your table this entire time. Do you want some? No, I'm alright. <laughs> Not sponsored by Evian. That is still a very strange looking person. They're not wearing a mask, right? That is their face. Yes. That is just their face. Okay. That that happens so many times. I ask someone like, is that a thing or that thing? And then they're like, yes. It's like, great. <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's not how you answer the question. <laughs> it's either one or the other, it can't be both. <laughs> or well, it can. What, a mask and a face? Oh, I, guess, I guess Majora's mask proves that. Yeah, you see? Yeah, thanks. More like Majora's ass. <laughs> that, that's like my really shit, uh, like, someone trying to be the angry video game nerd impression. Because you, you know those types of people where they're like, yeah, I can do AVGN, and then they just can't. I'm really happy he's still going. Yeah. Well, because there's just something about James that, like, you know, what's not to like, really? You know, he's, he's got the ambition, he's got, like, you know, the the drive for, like, the whole sort of thing. Like, he, he has the experience of, like, mm -hmm. you know, all the sort of stuff that Have he's you doing. seen his, uh, to date the time of this recording, the most recent episode that went up yesterday? No. Uh, he played... I, I've been working. <laughs> he played Green Dog, which is a um, Sega Mega Drive game. And... That, that'll probably be why I don't know what it is, because I'm not really uh, much of a Sega person. Uh, he played that, and he got so annoyed of it, he dropped the game into an actual volcano. I see. <laughs> yes. Like, a literal volcano. What, like... Not green screen, like actual. Yeah. Wow. They went up in a helicopter and they dropped it into a lava flow. Yeah. An actual I remember I, I found out what the Famicom was like from uh, James, actually. Because, like, uh, when he was, like, mentioning, like, you know, the whole, like, it being, like, the hardwired in controllers and all that kind of stuff, like, that, I found that out through a nerd episode. I can't remember which nerd episode it was. I have a mini Famicom, but it's very strange. It would have been the Transformers one. It probably. That, that's what I was assuming it was, because I do, like, sort of speaking remember of, how bullshit that game was. Speaking of Transformers, I recently finished watching the War for Cybertron series, which has been on Netflix at the moment. I have a net Netflix... <sighs> Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. A Netflix subscription. <laughs> Fucking hell! Why is subscription a hard word to say? Oh, you got it right that time. Yeah, I have a Netflix subscription, not a tongue twister, but like I don't watch it that much. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I like I come off work and I'm like, there's only so many things I can do in that time, and then I need to find like a film or a TV show that I can like dedicate the time to, and there's so much stuff on there that it's very hard to find. You know. Yes, I know exactly how that feels. Because, like, you want me to watch Castlevania, and I'm like, I just haven't gone around to it, you know? It's so good. Yeah. I, I, I've heard that it's good. It's like, and it probably is. And, like, I I like Castlevania. I'm not the most in tune with the lore of the whole thing, but, like, you told me enough that, like, I know, like, essentials of it, you know? Yeah, and even then, you don't necessarily need to know the lore going in, because the show does a good job of yeah. teaching you. And you're the one calling me a wee when you're watching the anime. It's not anime, it's animated. But it's anime, right? No. Is it not made in Japan? It's just, it's just Castlevania, the animated series. Is it? Yeah. Is it not in the style of anime? Not really. Huh. There are moments, Because, sure, like, it's, it's Akamajo anime. Dracula is initially Japanese, so I just thought that they'd make it into a... I wonder if there's a Castlevania manga, actually. Uh, I, 
I don't know, there might be. Because, like, there's, like, a manga of friggin' Sherlock, so <laughs> surely there must be a, yes. a manga of Castlevania. Yes, there is a ma manga of Sherlock for some reason. For some reason, yeah. The, uh, the BBC, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch version. I somehow say Cumberbatch better than I do, uh, what was the other word? Subscription. Yeah, that one. Yes, good old comforting bandersnatch. Yeah. I feel like it's easier to say Benedict Cumberbatch than any of these other ones. It's actually hard to say some of these other ones. Everyone I've been talking to has been talking Benadryl about Benadryl Cucumber. <laughs> Beast Stew <Duke> Calculator. <laughs> yeah. Bandersnatch. Cumber Dinkle. Dinkleberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here's right, I, can I, just, just... I can just imagine the start of the Sherlock series and it just says Dinkleberg across the screen. <laughs> I'm not editing that. Fuck that. I'm not editing that. That is too much work. I, I don't even. I wasn't even listening. Oh, well, good. <laughs> Although you're about to hear it on playback anyway. Yeah, but this probably won't be up for like another three months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Knowing us. Well, it's just like, it's trying to find the time. Uh, Wally? No, it's the other rival character. What do you mean the other rival character? Yes, the other one. What he helped us ca show, he showed us how to catch a Pokemon early, even though I'd caught like three by the time yeah. the tutorial happened. I didn't know he was going to be a rival though, what the hell? Yes, he is. Here I come! But he's shit. Yeah. Look at him with his green hair. Literally, he's just got a waltz. It's not really not going to do very much to me. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I, just, I just win. There we go. Battle over. It reminds me of... Um, Two crits in a row. Wow, nice. What was he called in Sword and Shield? Hop. Yeah. I didn't like Hop very much. Because like, the whole sort of thing about that is that he's just he picks the weak ones here. Yeah, but he picks, he picks a weak one to you because he wants to be the one that's strong against his brother to beat him, because that's his whole motivation. He wants to be strong enough to defeat yeah. Leon. But he just... He just isn't. <laughs> He's just yeah. not. You, you, he accompanies you and shadows you the entire game. He's uh, as, as your number two. You get to the World Championship Tournament, which is broadcast live on TV, and you crush his dreams. Yeah. <laughs> is is this is that the only Pokemon game where there's three rivals? No. Because you have um, Cheron, Bianca, and N in black and white. Right. Uh, you also have Serena. I think I did play... Um, you have, the you, have, games, you have four rivals in X and Y. Right. You have Serena, Tierno, um, Trevor, and Shauna. <laughs> <laughs> Shauna in X and Y. Well, it was it, it was still an S name. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? Steve. It's still weird hearing that in, uh, in like the the announcement, the announcer voice, like Steve, Alex, Enderman, Zombie. Yeah, I can imagine it's a little bit jarring. It, it's just anything that's said in that like bombastic like Peach. Yes. Yeah. Penis. God's sake. You, yeah, what did all he say? All of trailer. What? He said, you, you have to... I misread what he said. Fishing is all about concentration. You have to focus on the floats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, excuse me? Uh, it, it's advice for life. Focus on the floater. You heard it here first, folks. You don't have to flush it. Just focus on it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just steal a bike. Just... That, that's life lessons. <laughs> no, it's not. Please, <laughs> I'm not condoning stealing bikes. Hmm. Although, if they're, uh... Did he just call you filthy? He said your shoes are filthy. Oh. Still rude. Yeah. Which bike did we want? I don't know, the cheapest one. They're free. 
Free? Uh, I'm gonna pick the acro bike. Cause that's what, what's the difference? Uh, one goes faster, one allows you, allows you to do bunny hops. And stuff. But none of them will like... Like, both of them are pretty useful. Yeah, and you can come and switch um, at any time. Okay. Uh, do the bunny hops allow you to get over the regular, like, lips over the terrain? Yeah, they also count as a step for when you're hatching eggs, so you can stand in one right. spot. And... <laughs> yeah. It kind of reminds me of uh, Mario Odyssey, where, like, you go on, like, this scooter thing, and, you, like, people use it to get, like, the high score on, like, the skipping game. What did you just do? The hell was that? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you equipped your bike. Sorry, you can't use that here. And it's like, oh, why are you here? You're not even in this game. Wow. Wow. Why does the wheelie go slower? Magic. I thought, I thought wheelies was... Uh, Mario Kart lied to me. <laughs> he just falls off. Point. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Uh, tell me challenge for gym now. I don't know. What what kind of gym is it? Electric. Watson. Uh, oh, Watson. Uh, but now, I think this is a decent yeah. point to end the episode. So we'll challenge him next time. As, as soon as you looked over at the timer, I was like, yeah, you, you, you're seeing <laughs> if it's the end of the episode. Well, but thanks. it's a good place to end it. Yes, it is. Thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to see more of what's coming next. Check the playlist links down in the description below for the other games that myself and Joe have done on my channel and or his channel. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time when you tune in to the next episode of Pokemon Ruby, the adventure. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, as always, in all seriousness. We do appreciate it. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and ta-ra! Something something ending joke. Bye. Gee whiz, okay. Okay.